Yo, 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 what up, One Coalition? If y'all know me, y'all know I always stay on my content and I'm always showing, exposing Tariq Nasheed and trying to show the FBA that he's a fraud. Um, Tahaka Bay, yo, salute to him, you know what I'm saying? Before in the previous video, I thought that he was clout chasing, but he showed that he wasn't. He showed that he went out there and really like exposed Tariq's hand. Now y'all pay attention to this right here. Close attention because I'm getting to what I'm getting to in one second. Now, for the people who, who really want to doubt, y'all going to just have to doubt. But while you're doubting, I'm about to break it all down. Here is the guy that's on the roof. And I zoomed in where you could see him. And this is the reverse that he's watching me. You, rock, you follow me? He's definitely watching me. Now, let me get this other. Uh, um, he's definitely watching me. Um, give me one second. Now, I'm going to do this. Take y'all. I'm going to take y'all. Not that one. I just showed you that one. I want to show you this one. So when I was there, I didn't even realize that I, there was actually more eyes on me than what I had seen. Once I got home and examined all of my footage, I was able to see the extra pair of eyes. Now, I want you to pay attention to that white thing in his hand. But at the same time, but at the same time, what I need you to pay attention to is one more thing I need you to pay attention to. All right. One more thing I need you to pay attention to. Look closely. Let your brain work for you. FBAs, let your brain work for you. Let y'all brain work for you. I'm about to post a close up thumbnail. He's gonna speak, but I'm gonna post a close up thumbnail so you can exactly see what he's talking about. Visor down in front of the museum is watching me. The guy on the roof is watching me. And we're gonna talk about that white thing in his hand in a minute. But the question is, but the question is, how does Tariq know that I'm there? Yo, shout out to that brother Tahaka Bay right there. Hey, yo, one coalition, what more y'all need to see? Well, I don't need to ask y'all. FBA, what more do y'all need to see? I have another brother right here. He's a Haitian brother, and he, he exposed Tariq by having nine FBA security and also exposed Tariq by showing his lineage that he traces his roots back to West Africa. But yet, he's still, he's still trying to claim indigenous people right here who went to North Carolina. But nigga, you came from Africa, so how are you indigenous to North Carolina or America, period? I'm telling you right now, Tariq Nasheed is preparing his rebrand. I'm telling you, I'm calling it right now. I see the play. Apparently, Tariq Nasheed came to social media and he decided to share his results from Ancestry.com. And as you can see, take a look up on the screen. The majority of black Americans who can trace their roots back to North Carolina in the 1700s have ancestors from coastal West African countries along the Gulf of Guinea, including the Congo, Cameroon, Nigeria, Benin, Togo, Ghana, and the Ivory Coast. Now, no one is surprised. We already knew that. Tariq Nasheed, I guarantee he has a doppelganger walking around somewhere in West Africa. But the reason why I said that Tariq Nasheed is now preparing his rebrand, if you've been keeping up with Tariq for a while, then you know his brand flows in cycles, right? At first he came through, he was the pimp, the Mac, the dating coach, and then he became the amateur podcast radio host, and then he became the bootleg historian selling DVDs. And then he transitioned into the international Pan-Africanist, documenting and filming his travels all over the continent. And then he went on to make the 1804 movie. And then after that, he made the switch into his current incarnation, the xenophobic patriotic American nationalist. And if you ask me my opinion, I think the most disastrous cycle that he's gone through is this latest one. This latest American nationalist, xenophobic, pro-America, anti-black immigrant image that he's been promoting all throughout social media. I even mentioned in a video that I dropped last week, I said that Tariq Nasheed way back in the day, he never had to leave the house with security guards. He never had to walk around with security guards. But lately, due to the fact that he's been making so many enemies and antagonizing so many different groups of people all over the world, truthfully, now Tariq Nasheed has put himself in a position where he can't even step outside his own house unless he got paid security guarding his person. Now Tariq Nasheed went from the street dude, the pimp, the Mac from way back in the day. Now he's running to court filing restraining orders on various content creators because he's scared to leave the house. He's watching his back. 
And last week on YouTube, there was a bit of a dust up between Tariq and Pan Africanism Strikes Back. Shout out to Brandon. I covered that on my channel. And many people pointed out the fact that Tariq and Sheed's bodyguards weren't even black. And if you ask me, there was a reason for that. Because like I said, we all know Tariq and Sheed has been pushing so many false narratives, pushing xenophobia all throughout social media that he does not know who was friend or foe, who was an ally, who was an enemy. He might hire a black man as security, not knowing he's a black immigrant or maybe the children of black immigrants. And then next thing you know, they set Tariq up. Tariq is paranoid and looking over his shoulder. That's why he's running down to the courthouse filing restraining orders. And if you ask me, it was intelligent of Tariq to hire non-black bodyguards because he doesn't know who is who. He doesn't know who's coming with positive energy and good intentions or who is coming with negativity and hatred in their heart. So now, in my opinion, the reason why he dropped this Ancestry.com test is because he's trying to ease up out that space, right? Yo, One Coalition, if you conscious of everything that's going on, then y'all know what's up. Hey, look, shout out to both of those brothers right there, Taharka Bay and my brother, Um, I don't want to doctor his name, but here's his channel right here. Shout out to both these brothers. Yo, they haven't sent, you know what I'm saying, to try to help black people and expose these grifters that come out and try to separate us when we already got a fight that we go amongst every day. Yo, yo, One Coalition. Thank you.